morning. Today we are going to remove one of the interior walls of the house. Um, our plan is to put a wood stove in for the winter. The wood stove is kind of important and we need that in now because we are mid-September and it is already starting to take cool. It was five degrees the other morning and it's chilly. Other people around us have their wood stoves going and it is not warm. So we're gonna rip it out today. It's an old wall. I've already removed the electrical from it. And then today, uh, Holly's dad's coming over to give us a hand to remove the wall. We have an old barn beam that we're gonna try to put up in place across here. We found the barn beam when we moved here, actually, when we were cutting all the grass before we put our fencing up. I guess there used to be a very big barn here before, and it came down, and luckily, two of the huge beams that were in there are still here. So we're gonna use those. We are trying to keep some of the integrity and the character of the house. We do not want to modernize this thing really at all. So that's why we are using the beam instead of, what would you call that? Yeah, just new, new lumber, basically. Yeah, we don't yeah. want new lumber. So we're gonna get that in there today. It is a huge beam. How big is that? Uh, I think it was 14 by 14 by about 20 feet long. Yeah, at least 20 feet, it's yeah. huge, it's massive. Yeah, so we're gonna use some of that. And then there's a smaller one that was like, what, eight by eight? Yep. Something like that, and we're going to use that to go up the sides to support the load of the wall. Otherwise, we have a big day ahead because all of these walls are lacking plaster. As we are removing the wall, we're going to do our best to try to like not ruin the tin ceiling. As Holly was saying, we want to pre preserve some of the old character of the home, and that's something that we want to try and save. So hopefully, we don't damage it today taking out this wall. This is way dustier than I was expecting. Mm -hmm. It is a mess. Cleanup's gonna be entirely not fun. No.
white and fluffy Alaska look. Oh my god, look at all that dust in there. Oh my god. Jesus. We're done. Just like that. Yep. The beam is in, the posts are in. Now we just have a huge cleanup to do. Um, we also have to do some kind of finishing touches where we made the cuts in the adjacent walls. So we got to sorry. <laughs> The last thing we have to do, well, aside from cleaning up the giant mess, is we do have to clean up the edges around here. So there are some gaps and just like a little bit of paint that's missing off the tin and stuff. So Jeff is going to use some of the old wood that we pulled out of the wall, like the true two by fours. Probably rip them down, make like a little bit of yeah, some finishing trim. Instead yeah. of like instead of using cord around to hide it, we'll just kind of use some old lumber kind of to hide any of the kind of imperfections on on the seams and the gaps yeah. and make it look nice. Keep some character. We are so happy that we found these beams out in the field. They were perfect for in here lots of character inside the house. These were the beams from the barn that was here. So they are over hundred years old. The beam that's in there is roughly about 14 by 14. I would say it probably weighs a good three, 400 pounds. It's pretty heavy. It's really solid. It's definitely gonna give us the structural support that we're looking for because that wall was load bearing. And then we have the posts that we put in as well. They're roughly about eight by eight, something like that, 10 by 10. And they're also in really good shape and they're gonna be good and strong as well to support that giant beam that we have. And while you're talking about wood, hang on. So these are the two by fours that we use today. So you can see what they look like. These are the two by fours that they used 122 years ago. Insane. It's an actual two by four. Look at the difference. I don't know why we call these two by fours and they're not even close to a two by four. We're going to be reusing these. We took tons of them out of the wall. So we're going to be reusing these for, I don't know what yet, but actually, you know what? A dining room table. That's what we're going to use them for. The legs of the dining room table. Stay tuned for Jeff's dining room table build. <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, the difference in the old 2x4s versus today's 2x4s. Those are true 2x4s, so actually 2 inch by 4 inch. The new ones nowadays are 1.5 by 3.5. So definitely a big difference in the old lumber versus today's lumber. Yeah, they just look better too. Now we just have to clean up. And we have to do it soon because the kids are going to be home from school in like an hour. An hour. Yep. So we need to get this cleaned up. That's another project off our list. Only 850 more to go. Yeah. We are digging out our basement, putting in a sump pump and some three quarter stone, a vapor barrier, all that. Look who's in there. That is oh. poked his head in. So that has to get done sometime before the winter. We have to kill our turkeys. We just got our third round of meat birds. We have to make a garden because we have nowhere to plant any garlic, which has to go into the next few weeks. Yeah. Stuff. I'm definitely losing years off my life. So. No, you're not. You're gaining years because you're staying active. Oh, sure. Maybe that's it. Anyway, that's it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. What is he doing over here? I don't know. Funny. Got to stay tuned for our next project. I'm not sure exactly what that's going to be. We have lots of things, as Holly said, to get done. Anyway, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. See Bye. you on the next one.